Training night wasn't too serious before an historic weekend for the GAA in Pittsburgh. You could even say they're heading in the right direction by hosting the Midwest Championships for the very first time. It's a sign of serious progress in an area where the passion has survived through the decades. Well, it's been up and down, but uh, this is certainly an uptime. I mean, we have, it's great leadership. We have wonderful leadership right now and, uh, and it shows because Nothing's ever a one-year game plan. It's always a two to five to ten-year game plan, and we have the right people kind of moving it along now. So everyone's, I think, in a good place with it. We show nationally, we show locally, and we have our fun, so we're on the map now. And it's not just about fun. The weekend is going to be pretty serious stuff, and it's a bit of a landmark, would you say? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. The Midwest Championship, this is the first year we're having it, and it's the culmination of about 18 months of effort and work and getting everyone lined up to want to do it because all the effort you put in all season, sometimes you don't make it to Nationals, and sometimes you put all that effort in and it's over, but this gives them the chance to feel what Nationals is like in a national competitive time with two days of solid action where there's a semifinal and a final and someone lifting a trophy. and. And it's definitely something they're going to take with them, and it should be something that continues. And can you explain the significance of that to the GAA in this area? Well, I think everything the GAA tries to do is to promote the game and the Americans with the American players. And this is going to make the American players see what the national event's like. So if they can take it back to their local levels, and then I think it will help with not only keeping the players they have, but certainly bringing a few more on board. And that's the model, I'm sure, that the GA is looking for. You've been involved since you were 10, a few years ago. Yeah. Well, not say how many, but what does it mean to you to be involved at this stage and to see what's happening here now? Uh, it, it's inexplainable. The passion I have for it like, is, is undying. So when someone can take up something like this and continue it, I feel like I'm stepping into something I wish I always had. And that's what this weekend's gonna be all about. And hopefully it continues to be. It'll also be about you launching the 317, which is in front of us here. It's got the map of Ireland. And uh, of course it's March 17, that's what it's about. That's where the idea came from. But can you tell me a little bit more about it? Well, I had a friend come to me, the co-founder, David Normsnick, and he came to me with an idea commemorating the pride the Irish have. And he had a different aspect of it, and I was in the, the shirt business before. So we tweaked it a little bit and we agreed upon it, and what it really is is a badge. It's a badge to honor my parents. I'm, I couldn't be more proud to be a first-generation Irish American. And I think the sacrifices that are made for that to have happened, you know, I have great pride in that. And when he came to me with this idea, and I see in 87, we hosted the national finals here with one field for two days. Well, now it's five fields for three days. So the growth is, is obvious. So when he talks about that pride, I see it. And I wanted to wear it as an honor the pride moment for my parents. So that's what it will mean to me when I wear it. But I want anyone that shares that passion, that shares that willingness to be a part of it, to, you know, to jump on and grab it. We hope that the fashion matches the passion and that, you know, everyone's willing to jump on and, and see it.